Senator Hood. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for your patience. As we sit here today, and some of us stand here today, and this debate has gone on for a little while now, we see the importance of this issue. It's a very important issue. But I'm a step away from the actual words of the legislation and talk about the process of the legislation. Uh, this process, to my understanding, went through committee and had constituents coming across, from across the state and from other states to look at this legislation. And the committees were pretty full. And that shows the importance of this issue because we're talking about children's lives. We're talking about our kids' lives. But today, when we come into session, not knowing that this legislation is going to be on the agenda, when we get notification, to my understanding, at 9.36 this morning that it's going to be on the on the docket today, and it also says that it was only going to be on general orders. Are we really truly representing the constituents of the state of Michigan? We're saying that those committee hearings were full, packed, and now we do this without notification of them, allowing them to come up here and see what we do if we talk about transparency and see what we do on a daily basis so that they can have a word in on what is going on and the jobs that we are sent here to do for them. But we do it at the last minute and not an hour. You look up in this up in these uh, gallery right now. There's a couple people up there, but I'll guarantee you if they all knew about it, they would be up in those galleries telling us no matter how we vote, how they feel. And then we can deal with it like that. Instead of doing this at the last minute or putting it on, now be it intentional or not, that's a whole nother question. But this morning, at 8 o'clock this morning and up to 9.36, as I said, this was not even supposed to be up for a vote. And I understand that we have the ability to do that, but we also have the ability to represent the folks in the state of Michigan that this impacts not just your constituents, my constituents, and everybody else in here. Why do we do it? Why do we continue to do this? I've stood here before and said the same thing. Why do we do it? Why do we do it and why are we doing it? Because there's no one here. I'll guarantee you if you put it on for, if, uh, 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 that it's going to be up for in the next week, I'll guarantee you these rooms will be full. But why are we doing it? Why are we doing it in the dark of the day? Why are we doing it? But we stand here and we want to debate back and forth of whether it's right, whether it's wrong, whether it's left, whether it's right. But we don't have the constituents here telling us what they want. The bill that came out of committee is not this bill that we're speaking of right here that we're going to take a vote on. And they stood in committee and they supported that legislation. Most of them did. But this legislation that we're taking up right now, they haven't seen. The Senator, Senator Anderson just stood up here and had to read a, read a statement from one of the individuals who had impacted. His son was impacted. He did, he's not here. He can't be here. But he has to send a note for somebody to read. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves. And I am ashamed of this body right here today. And I don't care what side of the issue you're on, I'm ashamed of us for doing this without letting the public know what the heck we're doing. And I almost said hell. We should be ashamed of ourselves. I don't care if you like the issue, if you're on one side or the other side, but let the public be heard. With that, Mr. President, I will stand down and thank you for allowing me the time to speak.